Hey, Gen Chem 2 students, this is your week two update. Week two starts today, February 9th, 2021. Um, first up, I wanna to touch on Alex. I was pleased that a lot of you posted in the discussion board. I've already responded to most of you. Um, and you started figuring out what groups you wanna work in and that stuff, that's fantastic. Um, the journal entries were great. Some of us didn't go into kind of the depth I wanted, but most of us answered, so that's a good place to start. We'll get better at that as we go along at, at reflecting upon our learning. I will be posting the new journal prompt um, probably Wednesday morning. So anytime you get to that would be great. Uh, it's, it's probably gonna focus a lot on lab. The other thing I'm gonna focus on too is that um, as an asynchronous class, meaning we don't meet together at all, um, for lecture. It's important that you're budgeting your time. So what I'm noticing is a lot of you have kind of vague plans to set aside some hours every day for chemistry. I want to encourage you to make a schedule for yourself, uh, which feels a little bit restrictive at first, but it gives you the freedom to say, I can't do these other things right now. I need to focus on chemistry because it's chemistry time. Okay. And that's a, little, a lot more similar to being like in a class where you would have a specific class time to come. In my experience um, with online education over the last 10 years or so, that's a lot more effective than um, kind of promising yourself you'll get to it sooner or later. Um, so what, what I'm gonna monitor to see if you're doing that is you get a course grade based on spreading out your learning across the entire week, or at least several days a week anyway. Just a reminder, again, um, and you're, you're in a three hour lecture, three credit hour lecture. The expectation is you would normally be in class for three hours and you would do twice as much homework uh, on your own. So a total of three plus six, nine hours of learning to get a C in your standard college class. Um, a lot of us are not spending that much time and we should be. In the first week from February 2nd, um, until the eighth, that was Monday. That's one academic week. You guys ha have had kind of a, a mountainous experience in Alex. So this is showing total minutes on any given day, right? So the first day of class, we actually did pretty well. A lot of you jumped right into it, which is great. When it was due on Friday, many, many, many minutes, 2,321 minutes went into to Alex. But what I don't like to see is that um, yesterday was Monday, today's Tuesday. You have another objective that's due on Friday and the vast majority of you did not finish last week's prerequisite review. So to remind you the way that Alex works, you have to finish your back work before you can tackle this week's stuff, right? And so if you have a bunch of material from last week to cover, you should be in there doing that. You should get it out of the way so you can still get the points for your week two objective due date. Okay, so just to remind you, the objective due dates are when they're due. And it, that's 10% of your grade, just completing your topics on time, staying on track, managing your time. If you're wondering, when are my due dates? This is your syllabus, by the way. I got it on Blackboard by clicking on syllabus. Um, but if you're wondering when things are due, everything you need to know about is in the course schedule. So you go here. It describes all the different assignments. And so you can see last Friday, we had the prerequisite review. It tells you how many topics were there. Those should have been largely Gen Chem 1 topics. A little bit of math too. Um, they were due 3 p.m. on Friday. As I said, the vast majority of us didn't finish that. So if I were you, I would go print out this schedule here and treat it like a checklist. That will help you immensely in staying on track. Outside of that, Alex work here. The only other due dates that you have are a journal uh, response once a week. Don't really care when in the week you do that, just that you do it. Um, and then occasionally we'll have discussion boards. I'm not going to do a discussion board this week. So that means the vast majority of your time should be invested in, in doing Alex. That's where most of your grade is. And um, yeah, if you don't do it, it's going to be really hard to pass the test that's coming up in just a couple of weeks, okay? Um, we did such a good job in lab this week though, you guys. Um, 
I think the Zoom really helped. And I think communicating with each other is so important, not just me, but like with each other, because as you work through things in the qual scheme, you're going to discover something useful. You're going to discover a hack, if you will, something fun that helps you get through the lab faster. And you should share those with each other for sure. Stuff like someone noticed, oh, I need a hot water bath. I'm going to start that while I'm still working on procedure one. That's a great idea. In fact, almost every lab you come into, you're going to need a hot water bath. So you might as well just start it when you get in and then keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't get dry. Just add more water. So to facilitate talking with each other outside of class, remember that the top of our syllabus is the Discord link. Join it. It's part of your participation grade, whether you're talking in Discord or discussion boards or both. The more you do that, the more more credit you're gonna earn for your grade. So if you're only concerned about your grade, then that's how you can help yourself. Um, but in addition to that, when you make social connections with each other, when you help each other, you'll stick with the class and you'll be more successful. Plus most of the people in this class, you're probably gonna see in other classes too. So you might as well make friends. All right, so um, I'm gonna tell you what your statistics are in Alex for this week. And I'm gonna also tell you what it was for Gen Chem 1, people who have largely never used Alex before. Um, one class had a 74% grade on their objective from Friday. The other class had an 84% grade from Friday, which is just fantastic. You guys, I'm sorry to say this, but you guys did not perform as well. You guys are at a is 68%, meaning that 68% of the material was learned by the due date on Friday. So uh, like I said, you're gonna have to go back in and finish that prereq review. It won't let you advance until you do. Um, then you can tackle the new topics this week, which are in chapter 13 material. Um, chapter 13 is all about how solutions form. So understanding intermolecular forces, which we had talked about in Gen Chem 1, kind of toward the end, chapter 11. Understanding um, kind of like the idea that some things will mix together. We call that soluble and some things will not insoluble. And then what controls whether things are soluble or insoluble. Those are important skills to, to, to have going into this chapter. Um, there's a lot of math in it. There's a lot of conversions and formulas and so forth. If you go on the lecture notes, there's some help with that. Um, a formula sheet you can fill in from the video. Um, so yeah, and the last thing is when you come to lab, if you don't have one of the green periodic tables, be sure to snag one. You should have that with you. Um, same one we had in 141 if you were in my semester, fall semester class, okay? I really hope next week you guys really rock Alex and, and you can beat the Gen Chem 1 class, have faith in you, you're all really hard workers. Help each other, you know, ask, did, you know, ask each other, did you do your Alex today? Did you go in and finish top, a couple of topics? Did you do it? Maybe then we can beat them. I hope so, okay? As always, come and see me if you're stuck, don't struggle. I have tons of office hours. I've only seen one of you in my office hours and I wanna see every one of you in my office hours. I tried to spread them out so that hopefully they do match up with your schedule. But if not, please tell me when you'd like to meet, okay? I'm going to include my, my own schedule, my weekly schedule in this announcement so that you can see when I'm teaching, when I'm, you know, I have some availability. And that way you can suggest times where we would both be able to meet if you can't come to office hours, okay? You guys can do it, I have faith. Oh, I forgot to even tell you, uh, uh, in order to motivate you a little bit, I started a new badging system in, in your Blackboard course. So I put a link in here, it's called achievements. And so for example, if you got 100% I have to go into student mode, hold on. If you got 100% on your prerequisite check before the due date or at the due date, whatever, then, um, then you get this cool little badge that's in your achievements. And this you're gonna build throughout the semester. You guys think of anything that would be motivating in terms of completing a badge. 
Let me know what kinds of, um, I don't know, what kinds of items you would like to be able to pursue. But this one is a little icon with a flask and a test tube, and it just means that you've completed the prerequisite review on time. I'm going to do the same thing for every objective due date. Um, it's not really hard to get the objectives completed, although some of the content might be difficult. It's just a matter of budgeting your time, okay? So if you get stuck and you've been trying things, shoot me an email, show me a picture of your work, show me what you've tried, come meet with me in office hours and we can go over it that way. Um, but we can work through things together if you communicate, okay? So go in those badges, get Alex out of the way, beat Gen Chem 1, you can do it. Hope to see you guys soon. I'll see you in the lab anyway, but I hope to see you in my office hours too.